at that, just shooting back and forth. It was meant to be just another Saturday night, but it ended in horror for people at a popular gay club in Orlando. An attack on the venue that descended into the deadliest mass shooting in US history. The gunman was named as Omar Siddiqui Mateen, a 29-year-old man of Afghan origin born in the US. Police said that Mateen was armed with an assault rifle and a handgun. He was found dead inside. And on Sunday, the city of Orlando was in mourning. We know that this affects a large segment of our community. We know that there, we have a very close-knit LGBT community who has been dramatically impacted by this. So to everyone who is impacted, I want you to know that our thoughts and prayers are with you and that we are a united community and that what we saw last night does not reflect what we feel in our hearts and our souls here in Orange County. There have been multiple deaths and many wounded in the bloodshed. There was just bodies everywhere. I really didn't. Um, in the parking lot, they were tagging them red, yellow, so that they know who to help first and who not to help first. There was pants down, shirts cut off. They had fine bullets. There was just blood everywhere. Uh, and it, it was just it was very chaotic. Nobody knew what to do at, at, at anything because it was just like chaos. In the early hours of the mornings, teams from Orlando's fire department's bomb squad and hazardous material department attended the scene. No devices were found, but law enforcement officials carried out a controlled explosion at the club hours after the shooting. The nightclub, Pulse Orlando, also posted on its Facebook page. The message urged everyone to get out of the building and to keep running. A Saturday night plunged into horrifying violence. Sonia Gallego, Al Jazeera.